Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello if you're new. My name is Allison and welcome. So today I have a What I Finished Empties Hygiene Products and kind of just like stuff I've finished in general. That includes Bath and Body Works stuff, home care, all that fun stuff. So I do have a little basket. I didn't do this last month, so this is kind of what I finished for December and January. So I do have a lot to go through. First, I will start with my lip combination, if anybody asks. This is the L'Oreal Nude Intense Color Rich. This is in the shade 177. And then this is the Toasted Cherry Donut Lip Gloss from... Bath and Body Works. So I just layer them. This is a clear gloss, but it it's not clear right now because I have been layering it with this. I just love the way that it makes my lips look juicy and fun. So that has been my go-to lip combination so far. So there we go. Um, then we will start with home care products first, and then we'll dive into body care. I want to kind of switch things up. So I do have a couple wallflowers that I did finish over the last couple months. This one is winter. This one is falling flurries. I have two falling flurries. I believe I have two winters. And then I have two snowy peach berries. I don't keep the glass because I don't want the glass breaking inside of the container that I have because that would be very dangerous. So first snowy peach berry, the scent notes are sweet peaches, tart cranberries, and sugared musk. I did finish two of those. Next up I have winter. This one has white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spiced clove. I do like to use this during January months. Just smells really nice. Not Christmassy, but not spring at the same time. That's one of my go-to scents. So then I have two falling flurries. This has frozen thyme, fresh eucalyptus, ripe pear, and sandalwood. They did not make this one in the wallflower this year. I was kind of really sad they only had it in the candles, which I did not pick up, but I'm really sad that they didn't make it in wallflowers again this year. But I think I do still have some in my wallflower collection. So the next thing I finished up that I didn't want to put in here was two Flower Child car scents. I have them in my car right now. They are almost done, so I do have to switch them again here soon. But this does not have scent notes on here, but it is a really pretty soft powdery floral. So I did finish two of those. So then we're gonna go in with some wonderful home care. One of the first candles that I finished was Under the Christmas Tree. One of my favorite Christmassy scents. Nice. This is a pine scented candle. This one has fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, and sage leaves. I feel like the berries and the eggnog help it to not be overpowering with that balsam. I'm not a huge balsam person, but I occasionally like to light a good candle for Christmas time. So that is the one. Okay. And then with home care, I did also finish a winter candle. This of course has the same scent notes. It is white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, and spiced clove. So I finished a three wick and then I do have a single wick burning little bit left so that'll be in my next month's empties but she's cute i love this one this one came out a while ago i think it came out in 2020 so one of my older candles so another home care product that i finished was golden berry mistletoe this one is a new scent that came out this year and we also like this one this one was sparkling berries sugared spruce and frosted air. This one was really, really nice. This had a good scent through, so did winter. Under the Christmas tree, 
did not perform as well as I would want it to. Not the best throw. So I believe it could have been a little bit better because it is a glass lid candle. So it could have definitely been a little bit better. So unfortunately, because you are paying $29.95 for this one compared to $24.95 for this one, I would expect a much better throw, but it is a really pretty candle. And then this one did perform very well. I do have a backup of this one. Did not get the wallflowers this year, but I did get plenty of body care in it. So I do love this scent. Let's see. The last candle that I finished this month was a winter, but this one is a little bit different than the other winter that I have. This is a candle that came out exclusively for candle day. It's called the perfect winter. It has winter pine needles, frosted eucalyptus, and icy peppermint. So this one is more minty compared to that one, which is a little bit more woodsy. So this one was really, really nice as well. This one performed very well. I got a little bit more of the eucalyptus rather than peppermint, but it was still a really good candle. And I wish they would bring this one back next year. I think this one was really nice. I do have two hand soaps. So the first hand soap that I finished was Mary Cookie. This one has buttery shortbread, vanilla bourbon, icing, and spun sugar. So this one was really nice. It did smell like cookies, like a good vanilla, fresh cookie, vanilla extract. So this one was really, really nice. I do love the packaging on this one. So super fun, super cute. The next one that um, my boyfriend finished up was pineapple mango. This is fresh pineapple juice, mango, and vine ripened raspberry. This one was nice. I'm not a gel person, so that's why I gave him this one. So, yeah. This is, again, one of the oldest soaps in my collection. So we decided to use it up, and he really liked it. His family liked it, so that's really fun. Let's see. The last thing that I have for home care is the Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla Room Spray. This is fresh ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and Tahitian vanilla bean. So this was a really good fragrance. Perfect for like a good vanilla. I love this fragrance and I need to pick up a candle in this because it's just so good. It's a good vanilla candle. Um, so yeah, I definitely have to get one of those. The next thing I did was all body care. So I finished up a Coco Shea moisturizing body wash. This is just Coco Shea and Shea butter. Moisturizes after one shower. So I do love the moisturizing body washes. They're just creamier in consistency and they hydrate my skin a little bit better. So I did finish up the scent. I know they just recently came out with it too, so that's really fun. The next shower product that I have is a couple. The Energy. So this is orange and guava. This is a shower gel. This is part of our wellness line. They call it aromatherapy when this one was out, but now we transformed it into wellness. So it's just guava extract and orange oil. The guava extract boosts overall outlook and the orange oil invigorates and uplifts. So this one was a fun one. This one has been discontinued, which makes me sad because this is one of my favorite scents. And I finished off my last duo that I had of it. So this is the body cream. I did cut it up so that way I could get the most out of it. And I, I definitely did. So same scent notes as the shower gel, but I'm so sad that this is out of my collection, but now I can make room for more stuff. So that was a success. I do have two travel size shower gels because we have been going to Disney a lot and yeah we both just use these a lot when we're there these unfortunately don't have scent notes on them because they are travel sizes but I have pure wonder and then I also have champagne toast so I finished these both off um they had like 
half left of each. So I was so excited. These are both pretty floral scents. This is a sweet citrus. This is a sweet floral. I believe this has iced rosé, amber, and something else. And this has like bubbly champagne, orange, and something else. But these are both very pretty scents and I love them both. I actually have the moisturizing body wash in the full size in my shower now, but I am going to change that soon because we're done with our winter stuff. The next thing that I finished was a tree hut scrub. This was holiday cheer. This unfortunately does not have scent notes either, but this was a woodsier scent. I did not like this one. Of course, I love the texture of tree hut scrubs. I just did not love the fragrance like I thought I would. I don't know, just something about this. It was like an earthy, grassy kind of scent. I thought it was gonna be like with a hint of more berries. So unfortunately I would not repurchase the scent if they did came out with it, but I do love Tree Hut scrub formula. So I would continue to purchase their scrubs just in different fragrances. So the next thing that I have is a Starlet Night Body Cream. So we love her. I did finish her off. This is Snowy Berry Midnight Iris and Sensual Arganwood. So this is a luxurious, sophisticated kind of fragrance. This has been in my collection a little bit longer for a couple years now. And I just finished off the cream. I did not finish off the spray. The spray is halfway. So I will be giving that to a friend because unfortunately I can't get rid of it in any other way. So because I do work at Bath & Body Works and we're not allowed to resell anything. So I did finish off the cream, which I absolutely love. Would repurchase it. I do have a backup of the spray and the cream and a different kind of packaging. So that's why... I would give away the spray that's halfway used because it doesn't match the packaging anymore. Um, and then I have a travel size spray that was in my purse. This is Sunrise Woods. Unfortunately, this does not have scent notes on it either because it is a travel size, but this is a very pretty floral woodsy kind of scent. This is before they repackaged the sprays into like not having this kind of spray. It looks like their actual fragrance is now, which have this kind of spray. So they don't have this kind of spray anymore, if that makes sense. So I definitely love the scent. This is for me, my like August, November, September, August, September, November, December kind of scent. So I did finish this up late November, early December. So I would repurchase this. I do have the full sizes and I love this one. This was actually one of my first purchases when I worked at Bath & Body Works. So, little nostalgia. And then I have Beautiful Day, a fine fragrance mist. So, I was halfway done with this scent. And then I used it as a room spray. I sprayed it on my pillow, my sheets, my couch, kind of pretty much everywhere. Um, I would spray it in my closet, refresh in laundry. So yeah, I definitely love this scent. This one has sun-kissed apples, sparkling cassis, wild daisies, pink peony, and fresh woods. It's just a beautiful, clean, apple-y kind of scent. So I definitely love this one. I do have backups of this fragrance. So I'm happy I got my older one out of my collection. Then I just have some smaller things. I do have a Dove Fresh Deodorant that I finished off. Um, this one does have aluminum in it, I believe. So I did recently switch over my deodorants to Native. So yes, this one performed well. Obviously it didn't leave me stinky. It's a fresh, clean scent, but I am kind of transitioning things to be a little bit more healthier for my body. So we're done with Dove. Then I do have, ooh, I think my scrub leaked everywhere. But we have the Winterberry Wonder Travel Size Hand Cream. 
and I finished her off from my apron at work. And this is just a beautiful, very sweet kind of scent. Not as sweet as strawberry pound cake, but a little bit softer. So yes, I do have the full size in this. I love this scent so much. And I obviously would repurchase this. I just have a lot of hand creams that I am working on finishing. So yeah, let's see. I do have a couple of hand sanitizers. I do go through hand sanitizers very quickly. I go through probably like one every two weeks, sometimes one a week, depending on how busy I am. So I do have Ho Ho Ho, this is Sparkling Icicles. Um, I love this scent, very nice, very neutral. It's also kind of a cleany kind of scent. I love that it has a cute little Santa. This one is older, so this one was expired when I used it, I think it expired in August. So it was a little bit more watery. Then I do have strawberry snowflakes, which I also love. This is also a very sweet kind of scent. This is a Christmassy scent. Unfortunately, the hand sanitizers do not also have scent notes on them, but this is a sweet cakey dessert kind of scent. Love this one. I do have a backup of this one. Snowy peach berry, one of my favorite scents. She still has a little bit left in there, but can't really fully get her out. I love this packaging too. She was so cute. Smells very, very pretty, a very berry, wintry kind of scent. And then I do have sweet pea. This is also a very pretty floral scent. This was me transitioning into something spring like so I definitely like the scent I do have a couple left but again this one was kind of also a little watery because I think she expired but this one doesn't have an expiration date on it but this one I did pick up at a semi-annual sale a couple years ago or an MOS sale so this one is a little bit older I do have three things left that are makeup related so I did finish off two concealers this one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I believe this is in the shade five, um, but she is a little bit older. As you can see, she started wearing off and she has been used and loved. The next thing I have is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty. This is the Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. This is in 12N. She is definitely used. I have to kind of dig at the bottom to get anything out and I think she's also kind of getting to her limit of also being expired so we are done with her love the creamy formula for concealer because I do have drier skin so I love anything creamier that won't dry up my under eyes and then I do also have a mascara this is the essence lash princess mascara this is just, I, I guess they say it's the green one. So yes, I haven't tried any of the other ones, but I do love this one. This is the second time I've gotten this one, but she is dry. <laughs> so this is the bristles on her, but yeah, I love this one. So that's it for my empties. If you guys have a favorite product that you guys finished up in the December and January months, leave a comment. Let me know because I love watching your guys' videos and what you post and what you guys have finished. And I just love sharing what I have finished. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.